Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash defensive play video for you guys. Uh, we're going to be expanding upon a video that I just put out uh, where I said a couple days ago that I was pretty much running one specific defense uh, all game. And I'm going to show you guys a defense that I'm running now pretty much out of one defensive setup uh, that I pretty much can use all game. You're going to see it's going to give my opponent and most opponents fits. One of the reasons that I run this defense is because most people just don't know what to do against it. I'd say like 99% of uh, the community just has no idea how to attack this defense so as always if you guys want to see more gameplay versions of videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that we are starting off on defense so i'm gonna get to show you the play right away the formation it's the same formation i've been using for you know a couple of months now which is the 335 uh the nickel 335 the only adjustments i make and i showed this in the previous video as well is i put uh chase young at defensive tackle Derek thomas at uh, defensive end i also have safeties at all three linebacker spots but that's not going to be any issue for me stopping the runs you're going to see in this video i'm going to shut down the run in the pass and then the play itself is the cover four drop this play like i said i'm pretty much all cover four these days all cover four match uh pretty much in every defensive formation uh, as far as the setup goes i mean i'm just pinching the defensive line sometimes i hard flat sometimes i play underneath coverage to make these outside guys hard flat um but pretty much the most consistent part of it pinch the defensive line i blitz my user uh, just to make him a little bit faster uh, and then there's a couple of different setups you can do which i'll show throughout the game you can see now the hard flats obviously played a good part on that first play but i typically only hard flat uh based off a of situation so like i said i'm pretty much going to run this throughout the game the play that i used to run the most and i still run from time to time is the cover three cloud i still feel like this is one of the more uh turnover prone defenses but i think that a lot of people have figured out a pretty good attack when it comes to a play like this where nobody's really figured out a good play uh, when it comes to the cover four drop now the next play just hits me with a screen and i get caught up in the offensive lineman so he gets a pretty good pickup he does get the first though third and three i pinch the entire defense a lot which is something i really didn't mention and i also like to spread these linebackers out manually sometimes i even like to bring the safeties down all these things are really going to help out when it comes to run defense you can see on the next play uh, we get off the block and we get to stop nope so we force a fourth down which we're going to do pretty consistently this entire game my opponent probably gets in a fourth down situations pretty much every single drive uh which you know that's a good sign that this defense isn't giving up too much on the next play though he does beat me up with some uh, some crossers which has pretty much been his only uh the only thing that he's known how to do this entire drive i mean most of the uh most of the the routes that he's beating with are drags he's going to keep doing these uh these crossing uh you know crossing route concepts i know me personally when i see somebody running a lot of cover four i do the exact same thing so on the next play nope you can see i do a pretty good job of stopping the run uh with this particular formation although he looks like he was running with a lineman there what the fuck was that i'm guessing he has no backup running back so on the next play he hits me with crossers again that's pretty much the basis of his entire attack so far and like i said this defense is a bend but don't break defense so this is probably the full setup that i typically do where i three wreck or bluff blitz one of these defensive ends typically Derek thomas although here he just fully commits to the pass rush uh and you know it doesn't help me out on the back side so he must got sucked in there but it is what it is so on the goal line now we're running the uh cover three cloud uh just to mix up our looks because this i think might do a little bit better against the crossing looks that he's been giving us nope and sure enough like i said the formation i shut the run down fine you know i have no issue stopping the run when it comes to this formation although um you know he's running a lot of inside runs which is probably better i think nope. if he ran outside it might be a bigger issue as you can see i'm pinching this defensive line quite a bit and then on the last play we hit him with that cover four one more time and he tries to stretch it outside but it's just too late nope so we get him to a field goal uh which is the goal like i said i have no problem giving up field goals when it comes to defense my defense is all about bend but don't break so if i'm giving up field goals but i'm scoring touchdowns i'm never gonna lose uh so on the offensive side i mean i'm gonna start off with a with, you know i pretty much start off with the exact same run play just about every game i switch my running backs because i typically want my better running back at the fullback spot because i'm going to run the fullback inside this is pretty much going to be uh the most you know the offense that i use the most in this particular gameplay it's one of the hard stop uh and then like i said this first play i typically always go with this inside run because it's just a guaranteed uh five or more yards on the next play see he was running a cover three so i'm gonna be looking for this cover three one play touchdown pretty much all game it's not necessarily going to work out in this first play i pretty much just take the uh the check down to the running back which will get open against uh, most zone coverages and anytime i see the running back open in the flat i'm going to take that i'm not going to force it down the field and show a little bit of patience on the next play though we can go Woo! 
I kind of roll right into this look here. So we're down to third and 13. Uh, my opponent does a pretty good job this entire game of uh, getting some pressure on me. It looks like he's setting up blitzes pretty much the entire game as he leaves the middle of the field wide open there pre-snap. And I get an easy first down. Uh, then we're just going to, like I said, right back to that fullback inside. It's a really consistent play. I'm going to use it a lot. Uh, it's going to be one of my go-to plays in this formation. I see he's running the cover six invert, which half of the cover six invert is the cover four match, which is what I've been running. So I know how to beat that defense. So we're going to go for a play that does a really good job against that. And that's the drive corner. This is a play right here where uh, it kind of glitches that defense out pretty easily. So we're hoping he runs that exact same play on the next play, and sure enough, he does as this Y route just destroys the safety uh, because that's typically what it does. If I'd have ran to the open side of the field, I probably could have got a touchdown. But on the next play, we just finish him off with the fullback inside anyway, and we get an easy touchdown. So his first drive ends in a field goal. My first drive ends in a touchdown. That's pretty much the plan on how to win games, uh, in my opinion. Then back on the defensive side. I get, I get a little bit of a lucky bounce there, but you can see he threw it into like quadruple coverage, so it's on him, really. It's not it's not lucky when, when you're throwing into tight coverage like that. We get our first turnover, and then, like I said, I'm looking for that one-play touchdown. I cover through one-play touchdown pretty much this entire game. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. So next play, second and 20, like I said, this guy, he does a pretty good job this entire game of getting pressure on me. I'm pretty much just trying to work for that field goal. There's 13 seconds left. We take the short route here, call the timeout. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We're trying to work our way back for that field goal uh, because this is looking like it's going to be a tight defensive game. So we get a few more yards back. We get a reasonably uh, distance field goal, and we barely get it through. <gasps> As we hit the crossbar and it goes through so back on the offensive side in the second half we get the ball which is uh, definitely a big deal we're trying to set that one play touchdown one more time it's not quite there so we'll take the check down like i said i'm not trying to force it and make any mistakes now third and five uh we you know we don't have the right play dot up here he's just gonna cover three and we're gonna cover four beat it one more time we get sacked pretty quickly so going back to the defensive side which like i said this is what it's all about we're hitting with that cover four one more time doing the hard flat setup uh and sure enough i mean like i said it's just all crossers this is, this is pretty much this guy's entire offense on this next play my defensive end who i have outside linebacker Derek thomas playing as uh, is really going to be one of the more important uh players when it comes to this defensive setup he can really do any number of things i'm going to put him on a three wreck on this next play because i do feel like the three wreck is one of the most versatile but down the line i'm also going to put him in hard flats i can man him to the running back i can do a lot of different things with him so he's really going to be the uh, the swiss army knife of this defense and you're going to see that going forward. I'm going to do a lot of different things. Anytime I want to personalize this defense, it's pretty much going to be that particular play that I do that with. Here you can see he follows the running back as we get the uh, the knockdown. Nope. Then on the next play, um, you know, I'm going to do that three-wreck adjustment one more time. This three-wreck, he can, you know, follow crossers. He can follow drags. A lot of times he'll play the middle. On this next particular play, uh, as you're going to see on third and six, he's going to drop. I mean, my opponent is going to have a lot of crossing routes one more time. He's going to follow the one right over the middle. Then he takes away the running back. It's one of the more uh, important adjustments on this play. And now that I'm doing it more consistently, you can see now I'm having uh, more success shutting down my opponent. On 4th and 11, uh, he's going to go for it, and it's going to be the same thing. He's just going to throw it into a crowd. Nope. And it's our ball. So we're going to run the ball a little bit here because we haven't had a ton of success passing. And this is really one of the better running playbooks. I hit him with the old one trap uh, out of my single back A scheme. Then we're going right back to that fullback inside because he's had issues stopping that. And this is one of the more consistent runs in this playbook. As you can see, we get 10 yards on third and two. Uh, and then we're just going to keep hitting with it. Here we flip the play entirely. We're running it to the opposite side. Like I said, this is, you know, as we get 10 more, this is just a very consistent run. It's one of my favorite runs to run on this next play, though. He has that side pretty much uh, pinned down with a safety in the box, a couple extra defenders. When I see this look, I typically switch it over to the power O, which is the only other run play in this formation that I use. And I, you know, I see nothing but opportunity, but I don't have my best running back running this. I have Antonio Gibson, mostly because of his Washington cam. But we get a really good run. I see nothing but daylight. And then sure enough, what? EA decides to screw us out of a touchdown and give the ball to our opponent. I don't know if he had strip specialist or what, but I didn't see anything come up. I didn't see anything user come up there. So, so Madden giveth and Madden taketh away. So we would have had a touchdown there. Probably would have put this game away pretty easily, but we're going to have to rely on our defense one more time. On the defensive side, looks like he's hitting uh, some crossers one more time. That's pretty much all he has. And you're going to see that a lot because, like I said, there's really not a lot of things that really give this defense issues, and my opponent's pretty much fallen into that pattern. 
There he hits me with a ziggrat, which is something that, you know, that's a new wrinkle into his game. Uh, because he's pretty much just hitting underneath stuff. Drags, crossers, uh, you know, zigs. He, he really has nothing big. He's just dinking and dunking because uh, he doesn't have any idea on how to attack this deep. On the next play, like I was saying, you can basically use his defensive end as a Swiss Army knife. So I'm going to put him into a hard flat because he's hitting me with a lot of uh, short stuff in that direction. And then, like I say, you can see I, I pretty much nope. can stop the run consistently with this play with no issues. He's going to go for it third and two. Uh, Maybe he, you know, hit me with a hurry up because he wants to run the ball. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hit him with that hard fly one more time. So if he does hit me with that cross, or especially if that, at this distance, third and two, I'm going to take that away. And then sure enough, uh, there's nothing really there. We probably should have had an interception. Nope. So fourth and two, he's going to go for it again. He's had to go for it on fourth down in just about every single drive. Uh, so these are my opportunities to get off the field. I'm still in this defense. There's no running back, so I don't have to worry about that. We hit him with that hard flat combo one more time. And he hits me with a zig route, uh, which, you know, looked like a cross or looked like a drag. Uh, so I bite on that, and he gets the first down. So like I said, he's gotten, I've gotten a lot of fourth down situations, but he's done a good job nope. of, uh, you know, making that uh, making that play when he needed to for the most part. But it's going to catch up with him in the end, uh, as it does for everybody. You can't go for it on fourth down all the time. Nope. And then you can see the next two plays, he's just throwing into some serious coverage as the zone covers are taking over here. You see we're hard flying to the opposite side now so next play on third and ten is we also have that three wreck he's gonna finally try to throw it up against this gotcha, and he's just gonna get picked off like I said a lot of people don't know how to uh, attack this defense deep we're gonna get a nice size return here almost back to uh, to midfield and we're taking over with under two minutes to go we're gonna hit him with that fullback inside one more time and you can tell by the way he shoots that gap that he's looking for that which definitely messed up my timing so on the next play uh, we're going for that cover three one play touchdown one more time he's been running cover three pretty much all game we haven't been able to capitalize on it uh, I know he's going to be expecting uh, me to uh, run the ball one more time. Uh, so we motion this guy across. You can see it moves the safety out of the center of the field, which is really the most important part. And then we're going to try to hit that, uh, that guy right up the scene there. Kind of a ballsy throw, but we make it happen. As you can see, we get uh, down inside the five. And from this point on, we're not doing nothing but running. So we're going to hit him with that 0-1 trap. We're going to run this play three times. He's only got two timeouts. I don't really care what happens because at the end of the day, we're going to get a field goal anyway. Uh, so we switch over, though. We switch over to the halfback stretch. And sure enough, I mean, he was all over that. But uh, Sean Alexander does not go down easy as we get the walk-in touchdown. So then to end this game, we're going to use one more defensive play uh, out of the dollar, 3-2-6. Another play that I put out not too long ago. I'll put a link in the description for it. And that's the cover three lock. This particular play right here, you can see we have a the slot corner is pretty much manned up to the uh, receiver that's most likely to hit a one-play touchdown against cover three. He reads cover three, and he tries to bomb it up. But you can see that guy was all over that, uh, which, like I said, most people don't know the cover three lock. So that's why that play worked out. We get another interception to end the game. So with 30 seconds left, my opponent's going to pull the ripcord. He's going to head for the exits. Uh, and that's it. That's the video. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, more gameplays, more defensive videos, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm Alicia out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.